This lovely is Thermina australis, kangaroo grass. Um, very special, very excited to see that coming in this summer after the rain particularly, and it's not just a few plants, it's actually, there's quite a number along this, um, this slope, which is really very exciting because kangaroo grass is probably one of the most palatable uh, native grasses that we have. And you can see by the, the color and the softness of the green leaf, it's really highly palatable and one of the first plants that it would be selected by grazing livestock. Demeter is pretty clearly identified by a very distinctive seed head that is enclosed by a leaf-like structure called a spathe. And the spathe is um, really only associated with a handful of species. This really clearly shows the, um, the green leaf, the spathe as they're called. Um, on that seed and then there's a couple of fertile seeds there that have got that really um, distinctive awn so the the fertile florets have the awnus attached that nice dark awn as they age the florets and the spathe go a, a reddy brown color as the inflorescence ages um, doesn't produce a lot of seeds uh, it's not very frequent that you see these, these species um, in grazed paddocks, so very excited to see these plants established on this, um, on this slope here.